Hello, Margaret Munoz here and thanks for joining me. I've just been experiencing what for me is techno stress, so I thought I'd make a video on the subject uh, to perhaps help other people as well as myself at the same time. The term techno stress was actually coined in 1984 by uh, an American clinical psychology psychologist um, called Craig Broad. And in fact, since then, our world has become ever more reliant on technology and also at the same time further removed from nature. So why is this important to us all? Well, in the time that we've been evolving as humans, a good few million years or so, 99.9% .9 of the time we've been living in a natural environment. Can you believe that? It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution a few hundred years ago that huge numbers of people moved into urban surroundings. Uh, apparently in 1800, 3% of the world's population lived in urban areas. But at the moment in Australia where I live, uh, it's currently about 86%. Amazing number. And the reason that this is important is that our genes can't change that quickly. So we're living in modern society with bodies that are still adapted to the natural environment. On, on top of that, uh, we have the rapid development of computer technology and living our lives on a screen. That means we're in a constant state of stress anyway. And then when the technology doesn't work or we don't know how to do something, stress levels go through the roof. What to do about it? Well, technology isn't going to go away and working and also studying from home has meant an ever increasing reliance on it. So we can work out how to spend more time in nature. A local park will do the trick. And what I also want to do is to encourage you to tap on the stress that arises from whatever tech problem you be, may be um, having from your connection, dropping out, to being addicted to your phone. Because we all know that stress does all sorts of damage in our body and affects our immune system, which of course we want to be functioning um, very well, especially at the moment. What I'm going to do with you today is an example. Um, well, as an example, is, is to tap on a tech problem where you don't know how to do something or something's not working and the emotions that, that are attached to it. So you might go, you can close your eyes for a moment if you want and think of something um, that you don't know how to do or is not going right, might be something simple like move a picture, make a hyperlink uh, work, get on a video call, or something like really complicated. Um, and then tune into how you react. Do you feel irritated, frustrated, angry, upset, overwhelmed, anxious, or sometimes like me, just downright helpless? Um, then, because I don't know what your particular problem is, I'm just going to use the word problems. And, and when I say problem, you know what you're talking about. So, so let's start tapping and uh, just fo follow along. Say, say the words after me and put your own, put your own words in um, as well. So let's go. Even though I have this problem, so think of your own thing, I choose to embrace myself with love and acceptance. Even though I have this problem, which isn't getting fixed, I bring kindness and care to myself. Even though I feel irritated, frustrated, angry, 
upset, overwhelmed, helpless, anxious, put, put in any other words you feel, rage, stress. I choose to accept the way I feel, even though it's uncomfortable. And then we're going to tap around. So we're going to say, I feel so upset. I just can't get this to work. I don't remember how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Why doesn't it work? It worked last time. It's so frustrating. I spent so long on it. I should know how to do this. I can't understand the instructions. How do I do that? I'm doing what it says. This is really pissing me off. I'm wasting so much time. That's too complex for me to get my head around. I'm anxious I won't be able to fix it. And I feel helpless. All this stress. All this overwhelm, all this frustration, all this anxiety, all this, and then put in your own feelings. What, what do you feel? All this, whatever it is, all this, whatever it is. all this. I recognize I'm no longer in a resourceful state. I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a breath. Calm myself down. I'm going to give my brain some space. Reacting like this is not solving the problem. As I take some more conscious breaths, I release the tightness and tension in my body. I release my jaw. I allow my shoulders to drop. I let my gut soften. I allow my breath to drop a little deeper down. To slow a little. Starting to bring calm. So I can become more resourceful. Perhaps find some help. Allow the solution to present itself. I choose to have power over myself and my emotions. Instead of giving my power to technology. This is what I choose for myself. To choose how I respond. And to have more power over myself and my emotions. Instead of giving my power away to technology. Deep breath in and blowing it all out. 
I can't tell you the number of times I've given my power away to technology. So I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, as we like to say. So I hope you're feeling a bit, bit lighter after that. And, and know that whatever sort of techno stress you come across, you can use tapping to help you deal with your response and in finding a solution instead of being in this reactive place. So I hope that's helped. Do get in touch with me. Visit me at tangibleresults.com.au. Uh, send me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for some more tapping. Bye.